boy. Invisible kitty. You can't see him because he's black and so is everything else. Anyway, hello everybody. I've been wanting to do an apartment tour for a very long time. A lot of you have requested it. I was always like, I'm gonna wait until I'm finished. I'll wait until I finished doing this place up because I had quite grand plans for this flat. Like when I moved in here, it's been two years. So when I moved here just over two years ago, it was completely white, completely empty. And I was like, blank canvas is all I see. I love decorating stuff. I love being surrounded by things that are pleasing to the eye. I realized quite a while ago that I wasn't going to be staying here forever or for much longer, so I stopped doing things up. So I will show you around my flat where I've been living the last two years. I'll give you a brief kind of idea of what I was planning to do with each room. So let's start at the front door and I will show you around my house. We start with a slightly silly doormat, which was a gift from my Amazon wishlist ages ago. I don't know if you've seen it to me, but as you can see, it has been used a lot. Thank you so much. And then we move up to the silly skull. Nogger. Let's go inside. Keys get hung up on a bat. <laughs> as you walk in, you are first greeted with a view of my sickening shoe collection, of which I'm very proud. To your left, you will see a rather cluttered coat stand slash umbrella stand which is full of well whoops coats and jackets and obviously yeah that's what coat stands are for um over here we have bags this is where i keep all my handbags these shelves aren't really that good for keeping practically anything on so they're, they're sort of a bit haphazardly posed there hey, oh my gosh and over here is my shoes uh, I thought it made sense to keep shoes and things by the door. Little bit obscene, I don't really care. It gives me a lot of happiness to look at and it's a lot of fun to play with. I, I like weird, big, strange, pointy shoes. Up here we have a black chandelier. And over here, I was planning to like cover this entire wall with these black picture frames with sort of black and white printouts of like old woodcuts and memento mori and you know, um, spooky macabre imagery. My plan was just to fill lots and lots of black frames with this nice macabre art. Uh, here is a huge mirror. This is where I stand to take all my like dumb outfit of the day selfies and stuff. We'll come back to the kitchen, we'll just explore the hallway and stuff first. As you can see, the walls are bright glossy red. I was, as you can see here, going to make all the door frames glossy black. I was gonna put some glossy black kind of like fake plaster work stuff up on the ceilings here and on the floor I was going to put long black carpet. Very exciting little cabinet that I've painted black. Uh, this cabinet and this one here, I'm adding some different knobs and handles and stuff to them and I'm gonna add some reliefs and stuff so they're gonna be a lot prettier eventually. I quite like this bit. I like, I love this mirror very much. You're gonna get a real sense of my aesthetic preferences here. I really like black and red, I like baroque, and I like ossuaries. So yeah, there's a lot of ossuary bone dead imagery and stuff going on. This is my money box. Here's a little alchemy trinket dish, little bat. This cupboard is where I put all my bills that I deal with later. This is my hula hoop. That was another gift from my wish list ages ago and I friggin love it and doesn't it, it matches really well because it's also black and red. Random little decorations. Uh, that's the view looking that way. Over here is a cat scratching post. Okay, no, actually this is my favorite part. This is definitely my favorite part. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but the sculpture was custom made for me by Chris Andres. I don't know, he, he had an Etsy shop. I don't know if he still does, but I love his sculptures. Hell. <laughs> I love my goat. And below we have like a nice velvet. I like velvet, obviously. Um, Everything's covered in cat fur, you'll have to forgive me. It's very, very hard to keep clean. Velvet bank that opens and I keep stuff in it. There's my guitar case, coffin shaped guitar case, because of course it is. Fuck off trams, Jesus. Oh my God, it's always so fucking loud here, Jesus. There's um, like, I live right on a tram line and trams come past every 10 minutes all day, it sucks. Over here is another cabinet. Um, again, like I said, I'm gonna customize this. I also painted this black. But higgledy piggledy, um, this is where all my family photos are. So I've got photos of my, like obviously they're not, you know, properly framed and not put up 
properly, blah, but whatever. So I've got my, my grandma and my granddad, my great-great-granddad, my other great-great-grandparents, some more great-grandparents everywhere. I feel like they're, they're judging me as I walk through the hallway every day. Here's me and Mr. Owl a couple of times. Another spooky mirror. These awesome wall bats. Another gift from my Amazon wish list. I don't know who sent them, but fucking thank you. I didn't, like, I haven't put them up because I'm moving out. Like, what's the point? So they're waiting for a new home. There's another black chandelier. In these chandeliers, I put, like, white daylight LED bulbs. So they don't use much power at all. And it just makes it feel, because there are no windows in here, it makes it feel really nice and, and bright and sunny, even when it's nighttime. So that's the hallway. That's my bedroom over there, but we'll come back to that. This is my favorite part. This is the living room. And it does tend to get a little bit difficult to film in here because everything's black. So this is my living room slash dining room. It's the largest room. It's my favorite room. It's where I relax. Um, I took the door off here and replaced it with this curtain, which is just hung up with a ribbon and a nail there. And starting over here, just remove the Merciful Num CD. Um, here is my, my record player. I thought I'd become one of those people that has a record collection. I don't have very many, but at least I've got a record player. This cabinet, I think, has to be the most striking thing in my apartment. It's my favorite thing, and it was also one of the cheapest things in this room, believe it or not. I painted this entire cabinet glossy black. It was just plain. Yes, yes, we know you're there. We're coming to you, okay, in, in a second. This room has life and it has death. At the back, I put this sort of mirror sticker stuff. You can tell that I put it on because it's all wobbly and uneven. And I'm going to put more of it on the inside of the cupboard there. It's the same over here. All right, you guys, you guys want to say hi? Over here in this enormous house-like cage are my budgies. They interrupt the room by having some color. Hey, babies. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. It's just a camera. This is Jupiter and Juno. They're the ones you hear chirping in the background of the videos a lot. They're not looking their best at the moment, especially not Jupiter because they've been molting, I guess because it's a new season, and regrowing feathers. I use this cupboard. I bought this not just for decoration, but because it's functional. So in this cupboard I keep candles, tarot cards mostly. Um, I buy candles in bulk. I buy them in the box of 50. This one down here is a bar, looking a wee bit sad at the moment, but that's okay because I'm moving out. This one's DVDs and CDs. Up here is my pitiful collection of books. Lots of spooky books. This is where my little tiny collection of occult books <laughs> live. Some of these have also been gifts from some of you, which is awesome. This is a very nice lamp. I wanted a kind of standing chandelier looking thing and you can hardly see but behind this lamp is a mirror which I poorly painted black which is to kind of amplify the light coming out because I had a real hard time after we painted this room black especially because as you can see the ceiling is also black and as you may know black absorbs light. Here's my very exciting IKEA sofa. It's actually really comfortable and it folds out to be a very comfortable bed. I found these two shadow boxes which I also painted black. I haven't really got anything to put in them yet as you can see. Over here this is kind of the main wall. As you can see I don't have a television. I don't really have much technology in this room at all. My idea for this room was that everything was going to be analog technology. So I've got a grandfather clock. That was really cheap and I painted that black as well. A gramophone. I've been building a fake fireplace. So this is my gramophone. Um, it's real, it's antique. It goes, but it doesn't go properly and it never will. Like it's had all its bits replaced to be as functional as it possibly can be. I'll just give you a quick demo. Nice and dusty. Give this guy a bit of a dust. Sometimes it almost plays normally, but for like a couple of seconds. So because the floor is like this fake wood, I got a black rug to go over here to kind of separate the living from the dining areas. This rug used to be full of like silver glitter. It used to have like glittery bits in it, but they've all fallen out, which is great. This is my coffee table. It's kind of like a, an opium table, I guess it's called. I wanted one that was hollow with a glass lid, and the idea being that I was going to completely fill it with 
fake bones and eventually some like moss and grass and stuff so it looked like a a kind of graveyard. It's just got some random bones in there right now to like give you an idea. But there's a nice wee bowl on the top which is full of nuts. It was like looking at pictures of you know Victorian parlor rooms and stuff and I'm like well the scent, the focus of the room is always the fireplace. I don't have one, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna have to make a fake one. Uh, obviously I didn't finish but I did manage to find this Baroque mantelpiece and I painted that black too, black and silver. Beside it is my guitar which I can't really play but whatever. Honestly this is way too difficult with the light so I'm going to come back at night. Okay, so three, two, one, night time. So this is my living room at night time and as you can see, like I said, it's a little bit easier to see everything. So there's my fake fireplace in action. Unfortunately it hums quite loudly. I was going to put some like fake brickwork behind that so that it looked like it was going inwards and some tiles on the floor as well so it would look more like a like a real fireplace. I don't know who it was who sent me this buffer mat statue but whoever it was, thank you so much. It's, I've had it for quite a while and you should be pleased to know that it is the centerpiece of my living room. I had many grand plans for this room I was going to texture the walls so it looked like they had paneling on them and I was going to give it like a full baroque style ceiling with all this fake plaster work and stuff. Around the room I have six of these framed posters from Madame Talbot's. I absolutely love them. On every windowsill is a skull with a full jaw with a candle holder on either side just because, you know, looks nice. Conveniently located next to the comfortable couch is this globe, which is more than just a globe, it is in fact a mini bar. It usually has a lot of wine in it, but now it's just got one sad little bottle of port. Not a bad view really, you know, like there's so much I wanted to do to this room, but I think it's, it's you know, it's not bad. In this light you can kind of see what I was trying to achieve with the curtains. So obviously the curtains are black, they're also blackout curtains, they totally cut out any sunlight which is nice. And I've put these like sort of shawl thingies <laughs> over the top of them. Um, you can kind of see I was, I was trying, you, you can tell the kind of look I was going for, but I didn't really have the ability to achieve it, but I did my best. And on these upper windows, if you can see, these are bat lace curtains. Over here is just this kind of random shelf with speakers on it and some alchemy skulls and some like a big kill star skull and some decorative doodads thing from a flea market that I got um, and this is a lot of small perfumes. You probably want to see what's inside this cabinet, don't you? You know you do. With this cabinet I've been hoping to achieve a sort of curio cabinet slash miniature natural history museum. So if we take a look inside. On the bottom shelf this is an antique parasol that a good friend gave me a long time ago. It's from 1826 or 27. No human bones, just animal bones. Got a fox, a lynx and a raccoon. That's one of my newest acquisitions, a skunk. At the back is another new one, that's a coyote. There's a little rabbit in the corner there. Down here is a bobcat, a Muntiac vampire deer, I think that's my favourite one. There's a venomous snake at the back, I'm not sure which kind and some deer bits. This one was given to me in New Jersey, thank you to the sweet girl who gave me that. So yeah, I'm aiming for like a nice cabinet full of weird shit. I resolved that I wanted furniture that I could have forever, that it was gonna look nice, you know, and that it all matched. Thanatos really likes this chair, he hangs out on it a lot. It's actually surprisingly comfortable. This is where I have my dinner. And that is what I will be doing as soon as I am finished filming this because I am starving. It bothers me endlessly that there are only three chairs. A long time ago when I was actually earning okay money, I was saving up to like get one piece of furniture at a time. As you can imagine, they aren't cheap and that didn't last so I've been stuck with three <laughs> chairs. But that's okay because they're very beautiful chairs. Moon Moon! Hey! Hey! You know your name, don't ignore me. This vase was a lovely gift from some good friends. It's a haunted mansion themed vase and it's got some black fake roses in it. The salt and pepper shakers are of course skull shaped. A lot of the ways I've positioned things in this room are to do with the fact that there's a lot of black in here and it absorbs light so it's really hard to actually see shit. So for example, I've put this mirror over here in this corner so that when these candles are lit and when the, the chandelier's on that um, it will reflect some light back out from that wall. So yeah, that is my living room. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let's move on. Mm -hmm.